Welcome back to It's Coding Doctor. Let, let me give you a chance to think about the output of this question. Pause the video and try to guess the output. Here is the output. Are you able to guess it correctly? I believe most of the people would have guessed that it will be terminated early because of this return statement and it will it's going to print only one and two. But the reality is different. It's printing all the elements of the numbers array. Now, whether you were able to guess it correctly or not, let's talk about why it printed all the five numbers. Also, we are going to discuss the alternative of for each to achieve the early termination and print only the first two numbers. So what's the video till the end? The reason why it's printing all the five elements of the array is that here we are passing a callback to for each loop, which will be executed for each element. It does not matter you are returning something or not. It will be executed for each and every element of the numbers array. Let me repeat the reason for you. The reason is that we are passing a callback to the for each method and for each loop will be executed for each element, no matter if we return or not. Right. So some of you might think that what if we use a break statement here instead of returning. Right. So if I write break here, it's going to throw an error because break statement cannot be used in for each loop. Now you must be thinking, what is the solution? Guys, remember one thing, there is no way to stop or break a for each loop other than by uh, throwing an exception. You don't believe me? Let, let me take you to the official documentation. Here it says the uh, this is documentation for the for each method of the JavaScript. And here you can read there is no way to stop or break a for each loop other than by throwing an exception. Right. So what you can do is instead of writing break or return here, you can throw a new error here. It can be anything. Say it will stop it. Okay, so now you will see it's printing one, two, and then it's throwing an error. But that's not an ideal way because there are alternatives to it. There are alternatives for the early termination, right? So if you go back to the documentation, here we can see the early termination may be accomplished with looping statement like for loop, for of, for in, and some other like every sum, find, and find index. So in this video, I'm going to show you one of the uh, looping statement, which is for of. And we're going to break the flow by using the control flow statement, which is break. Okay, so let's go back to the coding part. And here I'm going to write a for of loop. So I'm going to comment this one. Now I'm going to write a for of loop, which iterates over the given array. Here the given array is the numbers array, and it will iterate over each element sequentially one by one. So here I can write the same logic inside instead of typing. I am just going to copy this one. And also we are not going to throw the error in it. So let me just, uh, instead of throwing an error, I'm just going to write a break statement, which is a control flow statement. And I'm going to uncomment the rest of the part. Let me clear the console and save it. So you can see now it is printing only one and two. It's not printing all the elements of the array. That's that's the power of the break control flow statement. And that's how we can uh, use the for of loop instead of for each for the early termination. Guys, I hope you have liked this video. If so, please like, share, and comment, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.